Welcome back to my channel, Serious Gamer. So today I um, want to discuss about um, the best players to sign in Soccer Manager 2023 for someone who wants to have um, a successful managerial career or should I say a long-term success in a team. So which player should you be looking to buy? You know, there are a lot of um, fanciful or should I say great players who are performing at the moment. But when you are buying, are you just looking for someone who is going to perform for you in a season or someone that along the line he performs and then he keeps growing and then his value keeps growing as well? I just want to show you guys, okay, um, those that I have sold since I entered this team, not that they are not good. You can see Ronaldo, I think he's retired now or he's still at Liverpool. Wow. That's that nine years of age and his value is depreciating though he's good but um if i didn't send him when i did um he won't worth that amount now that i sold him for and i won't be able to get players who can replace them you can see most of the people i'm selling are old um what's his name coutinho i actually i think i bought coutinho for a cheaper amount yeah i bought him for 11 and i sold him for 16 good business Ericsson, I sold Ericsson for 19 million. Um, where is Bruno? Yeah, I know many people will be wondering why did you sell Bruno and all that. Now look at his value and look at the amount that I sold him. He had a very good season. Yeah, he was um wanted, so I had to sell him for that amount. And after selling him, I got in. Now look at my transfer ins. I got in Foden. And Foden is still 24 now and his value is actually going up and nobody that wants to buy him now is going to price me less than 90 or 80 but not looking at the price though I'm looking at um, for how long do you think they are going to perform so that's why for me I'm going to decide that these players that are performing now are not the best buys they are not the best ones for you to buy if you want to um, have a long um, management that is good and prosperous because sometimes the team tells you grow um grow your team sorry grow your yeah your team um value grow the club value and you start thinking maybe okay you have to win um titles then get the money and buy players that have that value no that's not the way to do it the way to do it is um you get these young players you get these young players who are performing already let's say okay let's use 25 just start for players from 15 to 25 now you see you see these guys here now the, if these guys are already able to reach here you know before you buy players you can't predict um their potential but for these ones i think i can predict that someone like mbappe will have a potential of 90, 97 to 99 same with Haaland. Hakimi, Hakimi should have from 95 to 99 as well. Alexander Arnold should have from, yeah, from 95 to 99 as well as their potentials. These guys, if they are able to reach here at this age, now think of where they will reach when they are properly trained. You know, um, you have to build your own um, training, your training, um, your stadium training and all that. So these players will develop better when they are playing under you than these teams okay see pedri i saw pedri before he went to chase when i wanted to sign him he was 86 and he was i think 19 years of age at that time okay i think i should still add him in my short list i haven't given up still 21 so these young players are the best buys for me they are the best players we have a soccer manager now see gavi i bought gavi at 18 yeah and he's 20 now and he's already 85 I think that's my best buying is okay with Musiala as well. So these young players are the best buys. They are the best players to buy in soccer manager and if you want to progress. And also another advantage for buying these guys is that they don't get tired quickly. Here's another one. They don't get tired quickly. So um another way you can go around it instead of spending money is to build your your um your youth academy if you build your youth academy i haven't started mine not much money if you build it okay i just started if you build your youth academy you'll be able to get these players for free to surprise you you'll be getting players with um 
the potential of 95, 96, 97. That's when your team, your youth academy is well built to the maximum. So these are actually the way you get the best players of the game for free. So that's how to go around it for here. Um, you can still buy those players though, maybe um, for experience sake, but you don't get to, um, let's say out of 22 players in a team, you have um, 15 of them as old players. That's not um, a good sign. Um, within the um, time, a short time, a very short time, they will decline and your club starts to suffer. So, but if you pack these young players, even if it's in a season, maybe they will suffer just for one season because of lack of experience or half of the season. And you see them, they get to pick form again. And you already experienced that in this team. So, but now you can see um, Rashford and the rest, they're already picking from, okay, yeah, they are. So Sancho, Rashford, Foden, they're already picking form and that's how it's going to be soon. That's it. If you have any questions, you can still ask. Maybe um, advice on how to, which player you want to sign and which formation you play. And if you think it will fit in, I am ready to answer that. So um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.